I hit this zone where I have my game face where I'm completely and totally just centered on what I'm about to do. I don't hear coaches, I don't hear refs, I don't hear anything. I hear complete and total silence. Because I'm so focused on listening for the second whistle, that's all I hear. And right when that goes off, then it seems like the sound comes back until I get right in front of, the, right behind the pack. The only world there is, is that regulation track. I don't hear the other teammates, and sometimes I see bodies, and I, but I almost see them as big rocks. And then it's just contact, and um, the other girls, I can hear some of them yelling, and like I'll hear my teammates sometimes on the sidelines. All you know is that you want to get through the jam with your legs still attached to your body. That's your goal, is to survive the jam. Am I gonna get through that pack with all of my fingers and toes still on my body? It's that, it's that vicious. I knew that I had found what I'd been looking for. It was more, it wasn't like looking for a job and seeing one that looked, you know, kind of cool. It was like, okay, this is it. This is the next chapter of Amanda's life. I was convinced. Um, a friend of mine was watching the Roller Girls show and she asked me if I would be interested in Derby. And at first I said no because I'm too fat. And she showed me a lot of pictures of fat chicks in Derby wearing way less than I ever would, and so I said, I get to tackle people on skates, and then count me in. It was January, I was in the process of getting the store ready, and I came right back, got online and emailed and said, I want the in on that. And then I've been in with it ever since. Um, another teacher at my school started, uh, she came to work sore, and uh, I asked her why. She said she'd been doing roller derby, and I asked where I had to be to be a part of it. Nobody played roller derby before. Nobody knew how to play the game. And I thought, that's awesome, because that just cuts your nerves right in half. And you know that you're going to be accepted and everybody is willing to help you out. They're trying to also give some legitimacy to the sport that uh, you know, back in the 70s when we grew up, a lot of the roller derby was staged and it kind of had a stigma attached to it as being a, not really a sport, more like sports entertainment. But uh, these, these gals are playing a real sport out here and they're, uh, you know, the hits are real. If any fights occur, they're not staged, they're real. So it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a, you know, a real sport, with a lot of integrity and it's going to be a lot of fun. After work on Tuesdays, if it's a long day, you know, all day with kids and then we get to go to practice and you get hit, it gets a lot of aggression out and a lot of stress is released. Definitely that you could hit people and it's okay and you're not going to get in trouble for it and you can get your aggression out. I've gotten a lot of new friendships first and it keeps me really busy, which I like. I don't like to have downtime. Socially, I've met girls on the team and in the whole league that I feel like or the sisters that I never had. I had a friend, Jen. Jen's a really smart girl, librarian, you know, very resourceful, you know, all that. I work with a friend of mine who has been a friend for like 10, 12 years now. She says, did you know that um, roller derby, there is um, a series, like a, a reality TV show about roller derby? And I was like, what do you mean reality? show like they're doing it now <laughs> and she said yes and I started taping it because I knew that you would love it and um, so she brought me the tapes and I watched it and it totally blew me away the fact that they were actually competing and skating and it wasn't you know fake it was actually skating and competing was very appealing to me that night I wound up talking to my friend Jen about roller derby 
and I was like, you know, what do you what do you think we would need to do to start roller derby here? She's like, I have no idea. If you know, if we were to do that, I would not want to skate. And uh, so the next day, like the next day, she she comes up with like a stack of work. Like she had done research on it. Like totally got the bug about roller derby and just started doing research, research, research. And um, found out, you know, what we needed to do. And I had no idea it was like a business. Like it was starting a business. And um, I had no interest in starting the business side of that. So Jen kind of took off with it. And we planned to have a meeting. You know, we, we made some really cheap flyers and started hanging them up all over town. You know, just started making phone calls of all the people that I already knew, that I already knew, knew how to skate and were decent on skates. Made all those phone calls, got blown off by almost everyone. So we, uh, yeah, we hung the flyers and tried to get outside people interested in it. We had one meeting, um, maybe like a month after the flyers went up um, at a bar on Highland and like 30 girls showed up. We set the age limitation to like 21 and older so the fact that that many girls showed up you know over the age of 21 was already amazing so that's how we kind of got started.